guys. Woo! We are heading to the hospital to get induced. It's 5.15 in the morning. They told us to be there at 5.30, but we should be there in time because we're only like five minutes away. Yeah. So, yeah, it's exciting. Uh, so let's go. We'll catch up later. Bye. Okay, we're all checked in. Um, I'm all hooked up to my monitors, you can't really see, and then this thing. And then um, the doctor's gonna come in soon and break my water, and I think I'm starting on Pitocin pretty soon. But yeah, um, it's 6 a.m. now, and then um, did not get much sleep last night, just so excited, but I think this is gonna move along fairly fast. And then, um, yeah, check back in, in a little bit, a little bit nervous. And then we do have to wear a mask the whole time we're here when there's like a provider in the room, which is fine. But I just, like they didn't even ask if we had our vaccines or anything. So that was a little surprising, I guess. But it's all for the best. All right, talk to y'all later, bye. It's a little bit past seven. We've been here for like an hour and a half-ish. Still waiting for the doctor to come in and induce, but they said I could have a popsicle. I told him I had gestational diabetes and they said it's still fine, so I guess it's okay. And they're still going to be monitoring my blood sugar every four hours while I'm here. But it's good. Last time they didn't let me have any popsicle. And the last time I was like laboring for 26 hours and couldn't eat or drink anything. And that was rough, so I will be eating anything they let me eat. This tastes weird. Does it taste like, I don't know, whatever, I'll take it. Right there is where baby will be. Got a nice big TV. We get the luxury suite. There's Will and his, this thing that turns into a bed. Mm -hmm. He's playing on his phone on his game as per usual. <laughs> I mean, we're gonna be here well. Yeah. <laughs> hours and hours. The doctor just came in and checked me, and then I think I'm like two centimeters dilated. And then she did the membrane strip, so hopefully that'll start labor. And then I think they're going to start me on some Pitocin soon and and then break the water later, which is kind of weird. I thought she would break the water first, but but I don't know. She knows what she's doing. So yeah, that was kind of weird feeling, but she said we'll have the baby today. Hopefully, because it's only like 7.30 in the morning. <laughs> Will, do you want he does best? You like my duck lips? Ew. Alright, so I'm gonna go walk up and down the hall to try to see if that'll start labor. We've been here for like four hours fish. And then um, they still haven't started me on Pitocin or broke the water yet. So they're still trying to see if I can do it naturally. And then I'm gonna go walk. And then she said the um, contractions are coming out like four to five minutes apart. So it is definitely progressing. So let's go. Fun times at the hospital, huh? <laughs> We're just having a ball. That is what they have on my stomach to monitor the contractions and the baby's heart rate. So it's not like the ultrasound one I'm used to. Um, that one, like, you always lose the baby's heart rate if you move around too much. But this one is really nice and it's not connected to any wires so I can get up and walk around more freely. So I didn't have this last time, which I wish I did. So cool. Technology's come a long way since then, baby. Yeah, if anyone needs, um, well, is having a baby, you should definitely ask for this thing. I don't know what it's called, but it's like based on electrodes instead of um, ultrasound, something like that. It's 11 now, we've been here um, almost six hours and it's been like what four hours since they stripped my membrane and nothing's really happening so they started me on pitocin i'm on two units per minute 
which is I think the lowest. They're just gonna see how it affects me. They said that it probably won't do anything for at least an hour, like I won't feel the effect for an hour. So we'll just still playing the waiting game. You found me. You can go get some Chick-fil-A. <gasps> On release? Yes, but don't eat it here. You can eat it. Eat of it course. downstairs. You can't bring it in here or else I'm going to want it. Okay, I'll videotape myself and then show Do it not. to you once I'm here. Do not. And you better come right back. Of course. Where don't else would I be? Pokemoning like? around the hospital. <gasps> <laughs> but there's chances. Mm -hmm. Okay, bye. But yeah, I haven't been able to eat since last night after dinner. Um, well, I had a smoothie before bed, so I haven't eaten since 9. Um, yesterday, so I'm getting a little hungry. Hope this doesn't take more than a day because that's what it did last time. I didn't eat for like 30 some hours and I'm already hungry, so that's kind of rough. Ugh. So, Will went to go grab some lunch. I told him don't bring it back here because that would be just like torturing me because I can't eat anything. Well, I am on my second popsicle, I'm trying an orange one this time. Pretty good. And then they bumped up my Pitocin to a level six. Started at two, so now it's a six. So hopefully I'll feel something soon. It is 12 noon. Uh, so they just broke my water. That was weird, so much leakage. And then now I'm on a peanut ball. They're gonna keep me like on this side for 45 minutes and then on that side and then different positions. So hopefully that'll start more contraction, but it's one o'clock, so we've been here like what? Since nine. I'm oh, sorry. Since five thirty. <laughs> so yeah, like half a day or mm -hmm. I don't know. A lot of hours already, so I thought it was gonna be faster than this, but she'll get here when she gets here. Alright, so it's at three PM. Um my water's been broken for like two hours. And then I'm like four centimeters dilated. Pitocin up to level 16, and then I'm feeling painful contractions now, they're like two to four minutes apart, and then I ordered my epidural, so that should be coming in soon, thank goodness, because it's like not un unbearable, but it's getting there, so I'm glad that's coming. Pain is getting kind of really bad, and then it takes them like 45 minutes to set up the anesthesia team. So I wish I kind of ordered it earlier. I don't know why. In the back of my mind, I was like, maybe this time it'll go by super fast and I won't even need it. But I'm just at four centimeters, so it's gonna get worse. So I'm glad it's on its way, but I wish it would hurry up. Here is a contraction. In action. Yeah. Contraction action. What's your fraction? It's 4.30, I just got my epidural, I'm feeling great, Woo! Yeah, I forgot how much it, the contractions hurt. I should have gotten it way earlier, but everything is good now. I am feeling a little nauseous, so I have a little pukey bag, and they're monitoring my blood pressure every couple of minutes, because when you have an epidural, your blood pressure can drop. And then I got an ice pack back here to help with the nausea. The overall feeling great, but the um, 
labor process is slower than they were expecting kind of like cassian like even though i've been on pitocin since like 12 so four plus hours it's not progressing as fast as they would like so they might put an internal contraction device monitor in to adjust the pitocin maybe get a pitocin higher um yeah so they'll adjust that accordingly but now i'm just resting chilling no pain yeah i can still wiggle my toes but i don't feel the contractions but i can't really lift up my legs so weird so weird <laughs> happened since I last updated you guys I think the last update was right after I got the epidural I was feeling good I could move my legs and stuff and then I also said that they thought my birth or my labor wasn't progressing as fast as it should be and then they were going to maybe up my pitocin but after that like within one hour the contractions started to get really strong to the point where I could feel the pressure even with the epidural so at that point they said that it was time to push and then I called the nurses in and they checked me and then her head was like there already. So she literally came out in one push, like what would you say, 30 seconds maybe, a oh, minute? Yeah, the actual pushing. Yeah, it was just boom. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, that was super easy. I had no tears, I didn't have to get any stitches, super easy no not that much bleeding and she did really well so <laughs> Ripley was born um, yesterday at 5 35 right now it's the next day at 9 in the morning we just spent the rest of the day yesterday um, bonding with her and enjoying our time together um, but she was born yesterday 5 35 weighing 6 pounds 4 ounces and 18 in 18 and 3 quarters inches long so he, she is a tiny little baby, like her ultrasound scans predicted that she would be like 6'11 um, when she got measured on Thursday and she's even a lot smaller than that. So, but it's fine. Um, that's good. That she, and she's healthy. She passed all her tests today, like her hearing test. She had to have her blood sugars monitored because I was a gestational diabetic and she passed that. So she, they had to prick her three times and she passed all three times so they don't have to check her anymore so she is all good to go she is so good at sleeping <laughs> and eating and she's just so cute but it seems like everything is super smooth um we'll stay today and then i think we should be good to go home tomorrow look at all the hair she has Okay, they can't wash her yet for 24 hours because she has the because I had gestational diabetes so they don't want to stress her and make make her sugars spike or anything her sugar stress and stuff spike so we have to wait but look at how cute her hair is she has so much hair see your little face you're so awake <laughs> Hide, hide. Hi, little hide. girl. 
You're so cute. You're Say so hello beautiful. to your adoring fans. <laughs> Hi, baby girl. Um, I'm going to do a little photo shoot later. Myself, DIY. Oh, I'll just wear this. Don't, don't worry about me. You're just a prop, Will. Yeah, 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 it's my Tuesday outfit. Hi. So tiny. Cassian was never this tiny. He was 7 pounds, 14 ounces. You're just a little girl. But I had Chipotle as my first postpartum meal, and it was delicious. I still gotta kinda watch what I eat for the next couple of weeks just to make sure the diabetes goes away. But while I'm at the hospital, I'm just gonna eat whatever I want. <clears throat> I mean, if something happens, I'm already in the hospital. <laughs> no, but I'm still kind of being careful, you know. their hair is it kind of red in the sun it's a little bit lighter than Cassian mm -hmm. <laughs> she just got done breastfeeding she's doing so well with that her latch is pretty good we had a little bit of trouble in the beginning but now She's almost 24 hours old. She's pretty good. Every time she feeds, like my uterus contracts. So it's like kind of painful, like a bad period cramp really. So that's kind of weird that the body responds so quickly, but that's what helps the stomach go back to its normal size. Cause right now I still look pretty pregnant. I'll show you guys in a little bit. But now she's just napping. She loves to nap in her arms. She's not so good in her bassinet. But it's okay. And her head is so fuzzy. Mm. Oh, our feast is here. Will and I both get like a fancier version of the hospital meal today. Celebration. For a celebration meal. So let's see what they got us. Ta-da! Got a prime rib, mashed potatoes, salad, and a cheesecake. It smells good. I'm excited. I'm gonna go eat. <coughs> Baby girl got a bath. <coughs> she might be getting hungry again. She got a bath. She had a lot of crusty stuff on her hair from yesterday from being born. But now she's all nice and clean. I just got a shower too and feel so much, so much better. Um, it's like 6.30 p.m. So, um, Ripley is officially a day old. Well, a little bit older than a day now. So, let me show you guys what my postpartum looks like. So, here's what the belly looks like. Still pretty bloated. And I do feel like some pain here, like kind of like a... A muscle spasm sometimes so I'm thinking I probably have some of that muscle tear whatever it's called diversesis recti or something where the muscle comes detached from the stomach but I don't think it's noth nothing to and I don't think it's anything to really worry about um, but yeah that's what it looks like and then but overall I feel wonderful um, that dinner was really delicious. <laughs> but yeah, I think we're just going to wind down for tonight. And I'm pretty sure we'll be able to leave tomorrow, probably after lunch. And then last time with Cassian here, he had to stay under the Billy Rubin light or the blue light for his Billy Rubin. So this time they'll check um, Ripley before we leave to make sure she doesn't need it. But it doesn't look like it because she doesn't look jaundiced at all. And also the hospital 
does not have a nursery anymore so we have to keep her in our room the whole time which is totally fine we're gonna spend more time with her but i was kind of also hoping to be able to send her to the nursery between feedings at night but it's okay um yesterday was pretty great she fed a couple times at night and then just slept through the rest of the time so fingers crossed again it'll be a good night good morning guys it's the next day so we've spent two nights here um and then we are getting discharged we've actually been discharged already so we've got all of our paperwork we just need to pack our stuff up and then we can go home um baby girl is doing so well passed all her tests including the billy rubin test which is like the jaundice test to see if she needs to be under the blue light which cassian had to do it last time so yeah, we had to stay failed. extra day and he, he, yeah he failed poor guy but she's good um she, they weighed her last night she was uh five pounds 14 ounces so she lost a little bit of weight six ounces i think but that's totally normal so she's even tinier there's will show them your shirt oh hey uh well we'll show them your no. shirt later but look how big her newborn outfit is on her so big so cute <laughs> But yeah, last night she started cluster feeding. That's when they like feed a lot, like frequently. So she was like waking up every hour wanting to eat. And my milk hasn't fully come in yet, so it was hard to satisfy her. But then we started supplementing with some formula, and she's doing well now. So we will be heading home shortly where she'll get to meet her big brother. I'm so excited. Ta da! Did you bring that on purpose? Yes, I did. Beautiful. I Hashtag love it. Girl boss. Ew. Yeah. There she is. All right. All right go bye. tell the nurse we're ready to go. Alright y'all, we are back home in our living room, chilling. Um, Cassian's on his way back from my mom, so they'll be here shortly, and then they'll get to meet for the first time. Can't wait. Um, but I think I'm going to end this vlog here, so thank you guys for watching. Please subscribe if you're new, and then um, follow us on our um, next video when they meet. It's going to be a cute one. But yeah, hope you guys have a good day, and we're all home safe, happy, and healthy, and we'll see y'all later. Bye.